The greatest resource for any human being to control is not natural resources or tools or animals or land, but other human beings. beings, beings. In ancient Egypt was direct and brutal human compulsion. Human bodies were controlled, but the creative productivity of the human mind remained beyond the reach of the whip, of the brand, of the shack. The Roman model, wherein slaves were granted some capacity for freedom, ingenuity, and creativity, which raised their productivity. This increased the wealth of Rome, and thus the tax income of the Roman government, and with this additional wealth, Rome became an empire. After the collapse of Rome, the feudal model introduced the concept of livestock ownership and taxation. Instead of being directly owned, peasants farmed land that they could retain as long as they paid off the local warlords. This model eventually broke down due to the continual subdivision of productive land and was destroyed during the enclosure movement when land was consolidated and hundreds of thousands of peasants were kicked off their ancestral lands because new farming techniques made larger farms more productive with fewer people. The increased productivity of the later Middle Ages created the excess food required for the expansion of towns and cities, which in turn gave rise to the modern democratic model of human ownership. Of human ownership. As displaced peasants flooded into the cities, a huge stock of cheap human capital became available to the rising industrialists. And the ruling class of human farmers quickly realized that they could make more money by letting their livestock choose their own occupations. Under the democratic model, direct slave ownership has been replaced by the mafia model. The mafia rarely owns businesses directly, but rather sends thugs around once a month to steal from the business owners. You are now allowed to choose your own occupation, which raises your productivity, and thus the taxes you can pay to your masters. Your few freedoms are preserved because they are profitable to your owners. owners, owners, owners. The great challenge of the democratic model is that increases in wealth and freedom threaten the farmers. The ruling classes initially profit from a relatively free market in capital and labor, but as their livestock become more used to their freedoms and growing wealth, they begin to question why they need rulers at all, at all, at all.